Okay, me and Mike are out here. Uh, we got to replace an anode rod. Hot out. That means that means the anode rod's attached to there. But I think I have two, maybe three feet max, if that. So we're going to try to get it out. I don't think we're going to have any success, but we may. We'll see. And then we'll get the other one in there. Um, Well, here, yeah. Makes it nice. I don't have anywhere to put a camera. Let's. Can't even put it there. Nowhere. We're in this little old farmhouse. Little old farmhouse. Oh, there's a box. Stuff in it. Let me find something I can put you on. All right, hold on, Mike. Let's get a pair of chain locks. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can get this out of here. I doubt it, but. Thing's got a wood burning boiler attached to it. So got a heat exchanger for hot water. And there's a fan coil for the furnace. Of course. Because if I can't get it out like this, I gotta uninstall the tank. Luckily, it's a shorty tank. This is all aluminum instead of magnesium. We'll be uninstalled. Hold on. Just hold on. <laughs> we can, let's, see if we, let's see if we can bend her a little. Oh, you're gonna get, you're gonna get a 
homestead on this one. People are going to roast you. I'm telling you, you got to do what you got to do. Needs a little more. Needs a little more bend to it. Oh, yeah, there we go. Too much bend to it, but not enough. Right in the same spot? Yep. Let's straighten her out a little. Custom rod action. Custom rod action. I think I got a. I think I got a. Where's my bag? Over. should have did is I gotta bleach the tank. I gotta bleach the tank because 
get rid of that stink. I should have put the bleach in there before. Before I put the rod in there. I was so excited to get the rod in there that I wasn't thinking. So I'm gonna have Mike grab, grab the bleach right now and we'll bleach the tank. All right, anytime you got a stinky tank with an anode rod problem, before you put it back in service, you wanna bleach it. Wow, oh, yeah. Bleach is just chlorine. We're gonna put about a half gallon in. Cap it off, Mike. And it sits inside the yeah. anorod. What was that? That bleach sits inside the anorod. No, it sits inside the tank. Tighten their union and smush their, smush their gaskets up and nothing. We pulled it off out of uninstalling the tank. Oh, where'd that? Oh, where'd this come from? I'd imagine there. Oh, there. Oh, boy. Why, why is it? Oh, shit. Mm, go back in there. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do to get it done. 
if it needs needs a custom rod. There ain't nothing you can do. truck good get this other and what we're doing right now I'm filling the tank and then I'm gonna run I'm gonna run uh the faucets for a minute or so get the bleach up in the pipes and then it's gonna sit for an hour and then I'm gonna have them run the water heater uh actually cold let it heat up and then they'll run it cold and then it should be all set It'll clean out the tank and it'll clean out the pipe. And that's uh, how you get rid of the stink. You gotta change from what we took out was a magnesium rod, and what we put in was an aluminum rod because the tank got overrun. faucets upstairs? No. Should I has it spills? The hot? Yeah. Outside. Well, I'll get to it in a minute. Let's let it fill up. Man, it drained up fast. Do we shut the water heater off? Yes, I did. Okay. Well, we gotta get it relit, so. Okay. All right, there's no way that, you know, you can get an anode rod in there without bending the crap out of it. Because that was a shorty tank and I could barely stand up in that uh, basement, barely. Uh, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. There's, there's no way, there's no way you could get another anode rod in there. That one is a hot out rod. You can't buy hot out rods in, you know, how they have uh, their individual, their slinkies. They're like, I don't know, they come in pieces. Straight up anode rods, you can do that. Hot out rods, you can't. So there is one, uh, there's only one way you could get it in there. Let's give it a little bend. It's got to be modified a little. We cut about, I don't know, six inches off the thing. Bent it up a little. Got it to go in there. Because they're having a problem with smelly water. They had a magnesium rod on a well. Magnesium rods on a well, they don't, they don't work good. They make your water stink like sulfur. Um, so when we change the rod out, we bleach the tank out once we bleach the tank out then the smell goes away after we put the aluminum rod in there so it, so what I do is I throw bleach in there and I tell the customer I go well let this thing sit for about an hour or so and then um, what I do is I go upstairs run the water until I can smell bleach and I tell them after an hour let this thing run for 20 minutes to flush that whole tank out open up every faucet you can and just let let it flush the tank right out and after that cleans the pipes cleans the tank and it gets rid of the smell and I've done it like that for years and it's and it's worked great because <clears throat> basically <clears throat> all that chlorine is 
city water. That's what they treat city water with. It's chlorinated. So it's not like, you know, um, I'm hurting anything like that. It's, it's just chlorinated. So, like I said, not everything goes to plan. Sometimes you got to make shit work. Call me a hack, call me what you want, but I got a satisfied customer that doesn't have stinky water. The rod's a little bent. What are you going to do? Nothing. You get it done. The customer's not paying for excuses. You know, it was almost to where if I didn't come up with bending the rod a little, I would have had to freaking uninstall the whole tank. Lay it on its side, change that out, put the tank back up, and reinstall it. Why am I going to do that? There's no reason. Just because they don't want to. They don't even see the rod. They don't even know it's bent. <clears throat> so, that was just an anode rod change. Get rid of your stinky water. And I will see you on the next one.